update three and here it is there's a freaking everything's in pieces no manifold the turbo's kind of just chilling down in there intake manifold ain't on no distributor all this shit's unhooked freaking power steering pumps over here you can see my freaking timing belt is off and i got my timing lined up I don't know if you'll be able to see it from here, but trust me, it's lined up. <laughs> and I'm about ready to take the valve cover off and pull the head and see if I really and truly did push too much boost and just rip that freaking stock head gasket out. Yeah, no fake news here, man. This is all real shit. So we'll see. I, I'm going to open it up, and I guess I'll come back and show the rest. Oh, there's a bunch of shit that's not on the motor right now and there's the turbo got it took off and here is the head and if you know what you're looking at you can guess what happened yes yes it really did happen for those that don't know what happened is there's a hole in my piston that's usually not a good thing and then when you say that there's a hole in two pistons that's a double really not good thing the only good thing to come out of this situation is the fact that the cylinder walls themselves aren't toasted so okay I'm gonna clean up the valves and I've already got my ARP head stud kit come in got my comedic gasket come in the three layer metal gasket and I'm waiting on my new Vitara dish pistons that are gonna be hardened and made out of good shit and these fucking guys are coming out and we're gonna try this again there's a bunch of sh okay and then so I'm sure somebody's gotta have to ask why why did this happen how did I blow a hole in my pistons well if you don't get it it's because I wasn't running the right computer simply put I wasn't putting enough fuel into it I was running lean it got hot and this of course happened after I had got my correct injectors and the correct computer and the correct this and that but I had already weakened them and so once I got them to actually get boost and be able to do cool shit it was too late so word of the wise you know put your freaking put your shit all together first and don't half ass it don't cheat don't use those quote unquote fmus that uh hides the freaking boost from your computer by blocking up your fuel return and don't use that same method of thinking with the thing on the map sensor that's going to hide boost from your computer cuz that'll happen especially if you don't have enough fuel so there you go. That's why. Okay, so all my parts have come in. I've got my rings. And I've got my thrust washers. There, we can see them numbers. Got my rod bearings and my main bearings and my pistons and the pistons a 75 millimeter stock bore these are a Teflon coated Vitara piston from this YCP company they do have twice the uh, standard oil ports which is nice for what I'm doing and it's a Vitara piston which is going to be a nice low compression deal for my application so now that everything's here it's time to play I'm gonna go ahead and get to work and uh, hopefully I'll remember to start recording while I do that so I can share with you guys thanks for watching